Miss Trenchcoat here and today I'm so excited because I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek at my iPhone 5 I'm so excited because I finally upgraded from the iPhone 4 to the iPhone 5 I know that this is not the latest and greatest phone I know the iPhone 5 S and 5C were both recently announced, but I really like the iPhone 5's body and I guess the 5S's body so I wanted to make sure that I got the this style phone body casing and I'm not sure if you guys are aware but places like Apple and the cell phone carriers are still kind of selling through their back stock of the iPhone 5 so you can pretty much get it for a hundred dollars which is for the lowest end model the 16 gigabyte which is exactly what I did I went and upgraded for a hundred bucks and I'm pretty excited because it's still a pretty new phone to me and I'm really happy about it um, so I wanted to show you guys kind of like I guess like an overview of my iPhone and just give you a really quick look at a couple of cases that I bought because I know I have a very popular iPhone case collection video for my iPhone 4 and while I don't really have that many cases for it like the last video I think I had like something like 20 cases something insane but I do have a couple that I did purchase and I've got some more that are going to be shipped so maybe I'll do a updated case collection video when I get a couple of more but this is pretty much just a really quick overview of the phone and you know some cases that I have for it that's super cute. So as you can see, I did get the white model of the iPhone 5. I'm so excited because my last phone, if you remember, was black. And I really do like the black, but I was just decided that I wanted something new and something that felt totally different, so I got the white. And I wanted to give you guys a view of my lock screen. I know it's kind of hard to see, but you can see I've got this kind of teal and white chevron print. And I have a quote in the middle that says, your dream job does not exist, you must create it. And I actually made this background myself um, using Photoshop. And so I think I'm gonna release it soon on my blog, but I also posted it on my Twitter account. So if you want that background for your iPhone 5 or 5S or 5C, because I think they all have the same like screen size, Go over to my Twitter account and you can, I guess, download that or take it off of my Twitter account because I did post it for people to see and you can obviously grab it. So check out at Miss Trenchcoat on Twitter if you would like to see that background image. Now I pretty much have the same apps and stuff on my iPhone 5 that I had on my iPhone 4 so there really isn't a reason for me to go and do like an updated what's on my iPhone video. So I'm just going to jump right into kind of like an overview of the cases that I have for it. So first the case that I have on right now is from Kate Spade and I have the box here that it came in. So this is the case I have right now and you can see it's just kind of this cream case and has this really cute logo that says I heart Kate Spade New York obviously like written out with just like the letters and I don't know if you can see there's like a really sparkly gold spade symbol in there. So yeah I just really love this case. Uh, it took me a while to kind of figure out which Kate Spade case I wanted because I obviously had a Kate Spade case before. I had the polka dot La Pavilion one, the black and the white polka dots, but I gave that away to my cousin because she has an iPhone 4S and so it would still fit her phone. These cases, I really like these cases for Kate Spade, the ones that have this lip kind of that go over. Not all of Kate Spade's cases have that lip. Some of them are just kind of like the snap-on case. But yeah, these ones with the lip are super protective and unlike the iPhone 4 and 4S models of their like more protective cases, these ones are super easy to put on. So I might do like a show you how to, you know, install a Kate Spade um, case with this new model, but I don't know if I need to because it's kind of pretty easy. So maybe, maybe I will, maybe I won't. So right now I just have two more cases other than that Kate Spade case. The first case that I bought um, I actually had on my phone for like the last week and I'm super in love with it. I got it at Five Below, of course, where I get like tons of my cases. And it's just this like silver and black sparkly snake printed case. And it's just like hard plastic, but I think it's so pretty. Like 
it really is super sparkly. I don't know if you can see it. And it just picks up the light like so well. I just am in love with this case. It was kind of sad for me when I switched over to the Kate Spade case because I really love this case. I'm sure I'm going to be going back to it. And I'm surprisingly for like a hard plastic case, it's actually really good quality for Five Below, which was really exciting. It's easy to put in and out your phone. So really love this one. And the other case that I have is just, you're going to laugh at me. I showed this case in my last iPhone case collection video and I had to buy one for my new phone because I love it. It is this case which is the brass knuckles case in hot pink. You kind of just slip your phone in here like I can't actually do it because I have a case on it but like you just kind of slip it in and then it you hold it like with these kind of like brass knuckles and it's plastic not metal if you punch someone with it you're gonna break your hand and break your case again this is from five below and I'm just such a loser I had to have it again um, so I'm kind of like weird I actually sort of bought a bunch of cases online recently from Amazon that kind of are dupes for some of my iPhone 4 cases that I love I'm probably gonna do another iPhone case collection video like after that comes in but I just wanted to give you guys a sneak peek at everything now. So yeah, that is my iPhone 5. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Right now, let's take a moment and just go click that subscribe button so you have it out of the way. Did you take care of it? Did you click it? Okay, I believe you. I'm going to trust you on this one that you clicked it. Okay, great. So as always, leave me a comment if you have any questions and you can send me messages with requests for different iPhone cases. And just a reminder, if you do want that lock screen image that I have on my iPhone, go to at Miss Trenchcoat on Twitter and you will be able to grab it off of my pictures. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.